it's coffee time. And oh man, I get to tell you about my entire weekend because I did not make a coffee time yesterday. I was hanging out with Miss Happily Erin, but I promise you, actually the stories from yesterday, or rather the story of yesterday, is not going to be nearly as silly <laughs> as the stories of today. I have two pretty funny stories for you. Actually, one of them, you know, one of them isn't funny at all. One of them is just gross, and then the other one is... It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I, after it happened, I sat in my car, like, laugh crying. <laughs> so <laughs> that'll come up later. But, um, okay. I have to tell you about yesterday. So I think, did I tell you guys or not that I lost my phone? I'm not sure whether or not I told you guys that. But yeah, I lost my phone. I don't think that it was stolen. I think that it was just lost somewhere. Everybody that works with me was looking all over the office and can't find it. And I think the last place that I remember using it is I was playing Candy Crush while pooping at work. And after that, it's just, it's blank. I don't know where it is. Jeannie's convinced that it's somewhere in my car, but I have torn my car apart. I have no idea where this phone is. And really the saddest part of losing the phone is that I was on level 270 something on Candy Crush. So I'll lose all of that. And I'll lose a lot of really adorable cat pictures. Speaking of which, a kitten just joined me. Hello. You're very cute. Do you want to say hi? You can, oh, no, you don't want to. You little camera shy, that's okay. So yeah, so I lost my phone, which meant that I was pretty much like, in terms of me being able to immediately gather information, I was isolated. And I kind of enjoy that feeling every now and then of being like, I can't get text messages. I can't get phone calls. Like, there's literally no way for somebody to just get a hold of me anytime that they need to. Which is kind of an, because we're so used to having like technological leashes on us all the time, it's kind of wonderful every now and then to just be like, I don't have my phone don't have it. <laughs> it's just great. So I've, I've been enjoying that the last couple of days, honestly. But if I can't find it tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be my last inch effort. If I can't find it tomorrow, then I'm just going to buy a new phone because none of the buttons on my phone work anyway. So it all works out. But anyway, yesterday, Aaron and I decided that we were going to hang out all day and have a girl's night and sleepover and all of that. So I went over there and we literally spent the entire day um, eating playing Monster Hunter, and watching a show, actually two shows, one show called Poyo Poyo that we both love, that's basically like, they're like four minute episodes of this little anime about a round orange cat who's adorable. So we watched a bunch of that. We also watched, she <laughs> introduced me to a show called Deadly Women that's entirely about women that murder people. And that show is hilarious because, like, in every single scenario, it's, like, the the people that were on the police force at the time or whatever um, are, like, you know, we never once considered it was a woman every time. And I'm, like, we get it. The show is to highlight that women can be murderers, too. We get it. We understand. <laughs> it's just so silly. And actually, oddly enough, it's interesting how many of the murderers that they highlight are like teenage girls. Like I found it on Netflix. It's on Netflix, by the way. I found it on Netflix and watched another like couple of episodes today. And man, like <laughs> it's just so many teenage girls who are just, I don't even know. Like they, they get influenced into really strange situations. Sometimes they're just super messed up, but like, there's so many stories that are like, this girl started hanging out with this girl and then created this weird pack mentality and then they murdered this person. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I can't imagine. I can't even imagine. So we watched a bunch of that show. Actually, one of the episodes is called Mean Teens and it was entirely uh, teenage girls who had killed their parents or their guardians. I was just like, you dumb girls. Like all of them were like perfect straight A students, had great relationships with their moms and then started dating like an asshole. <laughs> and then after that, 
like a few years go by and then suddenly they're like, I need to get my mom out of the picture so that we can be together. And then they murder their mom. And I'm like, what? It was crazy. Anyway, so we watched a bunch of that show. We watched a bunch of Poyo Poyo. Obviously, Poyo Poyo was much better mentally. But uh, played a lot of Monster Hunter. And I found out that if you do multiplayer and fight the same things you've already fought, you get totally different armor. It was great. So I was kind of teaching Aaron some of the stuff. Man, playing it on the 3DS is so much harder. It's crazy. But, yeah, we had Italian food and hung out and watched TV and played video games. And it was nice because I live so much further away from her now that we never really hang out. So I was really happy to just, like, take a day and just spend some time with Aaron. And then uh, in the morning we went to a diner and had breakfast. And it was delicious. But then... <sighs> Are you ready? Are you ready for the two stories? What did I call them? I wrote them down so that I wouldn't forget. I called them Car Door and Dirty Tower. <laughs> okay, so the Car Door story. I, oh my gosh, this is going to be one of those stories where you're like, really? And I'm going to be like, yeah. So I went to a Best Buy on the way home because I knew that I was going to be cleaning out my computer later. And I wanted to get some compressed air. So I went to Best Buy. And <laughs> I pulled into a parking spot that was a little bit small, but my car is small. So I pulled into it. I was perfectly fine. And my door was down because, my, not my door, my window was down because I had been taking the ticket out in order to get into the parking garage. So the window's down. I've parked. And I start to... How do I even explain this? I start to roll up the window and then at the same time think to myself, I wonder if I'm in the lines. So I says the window is slowly rolling up. I stick my head out the window. Like the weirdest disconnect happened. Two things that are so not conducive to each other, sticking my head out the window and rolling the window up at the same time. And like when the window got to the point that it was like squishing my face, I like panicked and like threw my head back and my head hit the top of the car. And I just sat there and like cry laughed for like so long. And it was awful because it like, so I was looking out like this. So the door like started to close like this. And I was like, oh, oh, and then this part of my, cause I guess like these all in here is like really easy to hurt or something. So all in here just hurts so bad for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was like, I can't even, I can't even complain about this because you know what? It's nobody's fault but mine. <laughs> like there was no faulty technology, nothing. It was literally me trying to roll up the window and stick my head out the window at the same time. It was the weirdest thing in the world. I was just so taken aback by my own brain at that moment. So yes, went in, got all the stuff that I need, came out. I did not try to do that again. Went home and I've had a graphics card that I've needed to put into my tower for a long time. And I haven't opened it up in maybe a year. So I was a little bit concerned because I have cats I was a little bit concerned about how dirty it was going to be in there. And my God, I opened up both sides because you can, on my tower, you can pop both sides off, popped both sides off and just looked in horror, just horror at what was going on in there. Because remember like how, uh, I was getting that message that my CPU is overheating and all that other stuff. And so I was like, I have to open this up. I have to clean it out and make sure that all the fans are working that like, that the computer is okay, you know? And so <laughs> I opened it up and it was disgusting. I spent, I don't know how long, like all of the things that I knew didn't have any, um, what am I trying to say? Like things that were entirely plastic and had no electrical components. I was just like wiping and washing all of that stuff. And like making sure it was completely dry and then putting it back in and like took the whole tower out onto the deck and like just blew, just blew that so hard. It was just like, oh, just get it all gone. And some of those fans, when I blew the air on them, it was just dust, just so much dust. And I was like, this is gross. What have I done? 
Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, that was a decent amount of my afternoon, actually, was me cleaning out my tower. Guys, if you, whether, whether you built your own computer or not, clean your tower out. Oh my goodness. If it doesn't get like good airflow, if you have animals, like it will improve the life of your computer so much. And don't use a vacuum. Oh my gosh. I had, I had a couple of friends suggest like, well, why don't you just use a vacuum on it? And I was like, A, that's not going to work. That's like caked on dirt. B, vacuums create static. It's really bad for your computer. Don't use a vacuum. Use compressed air. <sighs> Guys, I, I was ashamed to see how dirty it was in there. And so from one nerdy person who loves her computer to another, clean your tower, clean it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I put the new graphics card in and booted it all up. And, uh, and the drivers were like not working. So it shoved everything onto this monitor and these two. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And so I, uh, I like had to re-download, I had to re-download the drivers like four times until it finally worked, which is very strange. And every time it was like, you need to restart. And I was like, better work. And I'd restart and it would be the same thing. And I was like, why? I finally like found the right thing to use, which was ugh, the silliest thing. I like went to their website and I was like, download these drivers. And I was like, okay, nothing happened. Like, hmm, interesting. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I mean, overall, I had a very good weekend. I made chili. Made chili tonight, which was great. Um, Jeannie was super bored, so she came over and played Pokemon while I was playing Monster Hunter. It was good. It was a good weekend with no phone, which was refreshing. And uh, if I can't find my phone tomorrow, I'm going to just buy one, so... I think I'm going to get the Samsung Galaxy. I know. Everybody knows how much I love my iPhone. But I really like the screen and I really like the camera. And uh, I like that there are so many more things you can do with it. So I think I'm just going to... I think I'm going to get... I think I'm going to get that. My mom will be elated. She has that phone. She's like, oh my gosh, we could use... The, the, like, Android version of FaceTime. I'm like, yeah, we could. I've literally never used FaceTime once on my iPhone, so. But, yeah, so I go put the chili away. Now that I've mentioned the chili, I'm like, oh, yeah, I should put that away. I'm going to go put the chili away and relax. And I hope that you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.